hello guys welcome back to my channel finally i have this video up for you guys so let's jump right into it so i'm just gonna start off with her eyebrows uh she had really really beautiful eyebrows so i just decided to use an eyebrow pencil this is from anastasia and it's the brow wisp in the color dark brown and i just used this to fill in her eyebrows like i said she had really really beautiful eyebrows so yeah i didn't really have to do much to them just filled in here and there and they were perfect <laughs> moving on i am using the shade tip concealer in the color light sand and light medium i am mixing both of these colors uh, and i will be using this to clean up her eyebrows and also i will be using the same concealer as a base for her eyeshadows uh, I honestly love the way the Shade Tip Concealer works as an eyeshadow base. It makes the eyeshadows pop and it's just perfect. They don't crease um, and especially when you use like color eyeshadows, they're just going to pop and they're going to look amazing, uh, especially if you use like a lighter concealer. And to apply the concealer, I am using the Morphe E11. It is one of my favorite brushes. Uh, I feel like it just makes the perfect lines um, to, you know, shape out your eyebrow. It's just perfect. Uh, next, I'm just taking my finger and blending out the concealer um, to get them ready for the eyeshadows. <music> All right, for eyeshadows, I am using the Anastasia Soft Glam. The first eyeshadow I'm taking is Burnt Orange. Uh, and I am using the Morphe E22 to apply this color all over her crease. And uh, this is gonna be my transition color. And hands down, the Soft Glam palette, it's my favorite from all the Anastasia palettes. Uh, it has like the perfect transition colors and it has some shimmery eyeshadows. And then it also has the perfect black matte eyeshadow. Like it has everything, everything you can ever ask for in one palette. So if, if you're just starting with makeup and you are looking for a neutral eyeshadow palette this is the one for you i highly highly recommend it it is my favorite so yeah let's keep going with this makeup tutorial <laughs> Moving on, I am taking the dark brown eyeshadow from the palette and I'm placing this eyeshadow all over the outer corner uh, and with this eyeshadow you want to be a little bit more careful because it's a really dark brown eyeshadow so I kind of like to treat it like a black eyeshadow so I like to apply it a little bit at a time and just build it up as I go. I don't want to add a lot at the same time because you want to be able to still blend it out so it won't look muddy so yeah just be careful with this eyeshadow uh, and then you will get like the perfect results if you just keep on blending after applying the dark brown eyeshadow i am going back to burnt orange and i'm just adding more on top of the dark brown i want to blend both of the eyeshadows together because i don't want any lines between the browns i want them to look nicely blended so that's why i like to go back and forth with both of the eyeshadows until i get a nice blend eyeshadow so yeah that's what i'm doing right here and adding more of the dark brown and then going back to the burnt orange until i get the desired results that i want I'm also bringing the eyeshadow more into the inner corner. Uh, I want it to be more dark uh, because I'm also going for a half cut crease. So I really want the dark brown to pop. Um, so I'm just using a Morphe E27 and I'm just applying a little bit more of the dark brown more into the inner corner to be more defined when I do my cut crease. And again, don't forget to go back with the burnt orange, the first eyeshadow, so we can just uh, blend all, everything together. Uh, you don't want any harsh lines, especially when you apply the dark brown eyeshadow. So yeah, you just have to go back and forth until you get the desired results that you want. Um, so yeah, it's just all about blending um, and you will get the perfect eyeshadow look.
Now moving on to the best part, glitter. I am using the Stila Glitter and Glow in the color Kitten Karma. This is a beautiful rose gold glitter and I am using the Morphe E35 to apply it. Uh, if you have not tried the Stila glitters, you guys are missing out. They are beautiful. They are so easy to apply. They are not all over your face. Um, and they are just like ready to apply you don't have to put any glitter uh glue or nothing uh and they whenever you apply it like exactly where you apply it, that's where it's gonna stay uh and if you guys can see i didn't use any concealer to create the cut crease uh i just did it with the glitter itself and it turned out amazing so i highly recommend the still like glitters now moving on to eyeliner i am using the ink gel eyeliner to create a little wing eyeliner i honestly feel like a wing eyeliner just makes the whole look complete um what do you guys think uh i always wear a wing eyeliner i don't know why <laughs> i'm trying to make different eye looks without the wing eyeliner um and i kind of like him too so yeah but i do prefer a wing eyeliner And now I'm just gonna curl her eyelashes. And I just went back with the glitter again. Uh, I thought that the cut crease wasn't as defined as I wanted it to be and I just wanted it to be like super sharp and defined. So I went back and added more glitter just to the edge of the cut crease and it made the look uh, like 10 times better. Now I'm just going to clean her face using the Garnier Skin Active um, Cleansing Water. Uh, it's a makeup remover. I like to always clean my client's face before applying any of the foundation. Uh, here I'm just going to add a little bit of moisturizer. I feel like in winter our faces are a little bit more dry so uh, I like to apply a little bit of moisturizer before anything else for primer i am using the one and only professional by benefit it's amazing it makes their face super smooth and i love it moving on to foundation i am using mac studio fix fluid i am using nc35 and nc20 i used a little bit more of nc35 and just a little bit of nc20 just to make it a little bit lighter and make the perfect match i also applied a little bit of uh, the mario badescu uh, facial spray the rose water uh, i honestly feel like every time i apply this facial spray it makes their skin look look more like skin i don't know if that makes sense or more healthy and then uh, to blend out that foundation i just use my beauty blender for concealer i am using the shade tip concealers in the color light sand and light medium and i'm just applying this to her under eyes and to the bridge of her nose and i just blend it out using Again, just my beauty blender. To set my concealer, I am using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. It's my favorite setting powder. Um, it's the best thing they ever created. I honestly feel like there's nothing better than this <laughs> for bronzer i am using the mac give me sun bronzer um just to add a little bit of color back to her face for her bottom eyelash i'm taking a little bit of the dark brown eyeshadow and here i'm just dusting off all of the powder from her face Now I'm just applying some mascara to both the top and bottom eyelashes to get them ready for some falsies.
For blush, I am using the Anastasia Blush Kit and I am using the color Coastline. It's my favorite blush from the whole kit. Now I'm taking the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just uh, gonna hide any eyelash glue that you can see. Uh, and uh, I'm also gonna make the wing eyeliner a little bit darker with this eyeliner. Now to set her whole face, I am using MAC Fix Plus and then I am taking the beauty blender that I use with her foundation and I'm just pressing in the setting spray and it makes a whole difference. It doesn't make the foundation look cakey or it doesn't look dry. It looks a lot like skin and that's what we want. And then to highlight her tear duct, I am using MAC or Darling Highlighter and I'm just applying that there. And then I'm also going to use the same highlighter uh, as a highlighter. And I just apply it on the tip of her nose uh, for a little nose highlight and then on top of the eyebrows and of course on her cheeks just you know the highlights of her face and we are done with the face now moving on to lips I am using the bite beauty lip pencil in the uh, color 032 uh, they are so creamy and I actually love these pencils. I purchased two of them just to try them out and I'm really impressed. I like them um, and this is also a really really pretty color. And for lipstick, of course, I am using the ColourPop X I Love Sada E liquid lipstick in the color 951. It's so pretty and is a satin finish, so it's not super dry or it's not glossy. For gloss, I am using uh, Alme in the color Boo. It is so pretty. I've had this for a while and I never used it until now. And oh my God, I'm impressed. And finally, we are done with the face. Now I'm just moving on to the hairstyle. To create the hairstyle, I curled all of her hair first. And yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I mean, I'm um, using a wand. It's my favorite. I feel like it's faster. And I just love the way the curls come out. So yeah. After all the hair is curled, uh, I just parted the front part of her hair and um, the rest, uh, I'm gonna put it in a ponytail, uh, in a high ponytail. And for the leftover hair, uh, we decided to just part it on the side. I just added a little bit of hairspray and I just came back to it at the end. Going back to the ponytail, I am gonna add one of these hair donuts. Uh, that's how I call them, I don't know how they're called. <laughs> and I'm just gonna secure it with some bobby pins. For the bun, uh, I'm gonna take a little piece at a time. I'm gonna twist it and then pull on it and then secure it with a bobby pin. Um, and that's the same thing I'm gonna do to the rest of the hair. Just take a little piece of hair, twist it and pull on it and then just secure it with the bobby pin and then just, uh, I don't know, just arrange it to make it look cute. I don't know why it's so hard for me to explain hairstyles. Uh, well, actually to explain everything. I just don't know how to explain stuff. But um, this hairstyle is super, super easy. You guys will see. I mean, you just have to see. And um, it's super easy. It's so easy to follow. Um, anyways, I also wanted to take the time to thank all of you guys for liking my work. Uh, especially this makeup look. 
like it's so crazy that i started doing makeup a year ago and um i like how people like my work and they hire me to do their makeup like they trust on me they have trust on me and it's so cool um as many of you guys know i'm like a self-taught like i never went to school for it um i just always like makeup that was one of the things and the reason why i started doing makeup so here's a little story um when i was gonna move into my house with my uh fiance i told him i wanted to do a makeup room i wanted a makeup room and he didn't want me to have one and he finally did he he finally told me i could have one but uh i had to do something with it like i just couldn't have a makeup room just because i wanted to i had to do something with it so that's when i decided to do makeup videos and do makeup on people so he gave me the little push that i needed and i'm so thankful that he did anyways i also want to film a q a so um if you guys have any questions that you guys always wanted to ask me or you guys just want to ask me anything go ahead and ask me down below in the comments i'm gonna go through all the comments and um go through the questions and if i get enough questions i will definitely film a video so yeah go ahead and comment down below all right guys and that was the hairstyle it's super super easy and now uh it's time for the crown oh my god her crown was so beautiful it was like super shiny and that's it guys this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys do don't forget to subscribe and like this video also leave me a comment down below and thank you so much for watching